This bright and summery zucchini and basil soup uses only a half dozen simple ingredients, but it comes out packed with flavor in just about 20 minutes. Start by heating a couple tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil over medium heat in a large saucier or saucepan. Swirl the pan to coat the bottom, and then add a diced leek and a few ribs of diced celery. I prefer leeks to regular onions in this recipe because they have a milder flavor that complements the zucchini well. Stir everything to combine, and then season with salt. Salt will help draw out liquid from the vegetables, which allows them to sweat and soften more rapidly, which is what we're looking for. Keep cooking the vegetables, stirring frequently, and adding a few splashes of olive oil if the pan runs dry, until they're very soft but not yet browned. This will take about five minutes. Now add three cloves of minced garlic and cook, stirring just until the garlic is fragrant, about 30 seconds. Now add a pound and a half of sliced zucchini. I prefer to use small, dense zucchini for this soup as they have much better flavor than their larger, watery counterparts. Saute the zucchini with the other vegetables for a couple of minutes, making sure to scrape down the sides of the pan as you cook. I like to add basil in two separate stages in order to get the most out of its flavor. The first batch goes in now with the sauteing vegetables in order to cook down into the soup base. Add a big handful of chopped fresh basil and stir to combine, then top up the pot with five cups of water. Let the soup come to a simmer and then cook just until the zucchini is tender. We want tender texture but bright green color here, so don't overcook it. Just about 10 minutes is plenty. Add a second handful of fresh basil and we're ready to blend. This is easiest to do directly in the pot with a handheld immersion blender. I like to pulse it at low speed the first few times to get rid of the big chunks, and then you can move up to high speed and just let it rip until the soup is as smooth or as chunky as you'd like it. Make sure to check out Serious Eats for our recommendations on the best handheld immersion blenders. Now taste the soup and adjust seasoning with black pepper, salt, and a squeeze or two of lemon juice, and we're ready to serve. Ladle the soup into individual serving bowls and drizzle it with more extra virgin olive oil. Garnish with fresh basil leaves and dig in.